Hello. Today we'll be going over Codesys installation. So this will be a pretty short video as uh, the installation process for Codesys is actually quite easy. Um, so we are going to start at the support.crosscontrol.com, which is the cross control support site. And uh, as I've mentioned in previous videos, you'll need to create an account if you haven't already to log in. But once you do, uh, we're going to go to product information and software. And in the software path, you'll see uh, down here in software downloads and documentation, a codesys option. So we're going to click that. And we are going to come here to development environment. So you won't see this. This is um, for essentially administrators. Um, but here under development environments, you can expand this. And we have posted on our support site all of the development environments that Codesys um, has published at this point. So we, we might be a little behind, but for the most part, uh, we try to keep up to date here and post the latest development environments. So as of the making of this video, we can see 3.5 SP8 patch 3 seems to be the latest. So we can go ahead and grab that one. But, you know, if you want to grab a previous version for any reason, um, those are also available here. So... I've already downloaded this and installed it, so I'm not going to go through this process again. But what you're going to do is essentially just download this and, um, you know, you can see it's a big file here. And Codesys will take a while to install, so be patient. It's a very large program. I think it takes up around a, a gigabyte of space on the computer. So... Once you have this, though, um, you can just install it like any other Windows program. So you're going to, you know, go to your downloads and just double click the EXE and it will take you through the installation process. And that is really it for Codesys installation. I will mention uh, you don't need to get the you can download the development environment. Um, through Codesys actually for free. So if you come here to codesys.com, um, you'll need to create a, a username and password and log in. But when you do that, you'll have access to this download section. So I believe I'm already logged in to the site, but you'll see, so they've changed this around a little bit. And I actually think they have a few versions further than what we've provided on our support site released. Um, but you'll see this download area, at least at the time we're making this video, this is what it looks like. And you'll see the latest releases of Codesys version 3.5. So we can click this. And um, yeah, so it's taken me to this download section and I can see all of the versions that they have and download whatever version I want. So you can also see the release date, I believe, here. Um, this one is most likely, yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't know why there's, they must have updated this, but so it looks like they're on release 3.5 SP10, um, which, you know, here on our support site, we had 3.5 SP8 patch 3. So they're a little bit ahead of us. I You could download from either, but um, I might recommend just uh, trying to download from our support site if possible. The other thing that we'll get into maybe in later videos is this Codesys store. So there is a lot of uh, different applications and things on here, examples that you can download and run. Some of them cost money, but um, a lot of them are free. So you can download that and see how to do different different things within Codesys. So Codesys Store and the Codesys website is a useful place to know about. 
All right, um, once we've installed Codasys, we'll continue in future videos about the basic setup to work with the cross-control displays and controllers, and we'll move on there to some more specific items. Thanks for watching.